Andrew, which type? They're like, huh? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> and like, I understand, but like most colleges, you have to pick which one to get into and each one's more competitive. So those programs, I think it's good for earlier on. Um, so parents or guardians or educators, let's say, yeah, maybe freshman year, but as you go on from there, you want to look at other ones. So let's talk about some other ones. And then, and, and then Mia, can you put on your satellite hat, uh, whether mm-hmm. something looks cool or not, and with some feedback for other peers out there? Because she's looking right now uh, with me, these other programs, just for you guys to kind of share and look at that. Does that sound good? Yep. Sounds great. All right. So talking about engineering. So many different colleges that offer engineering programs uh, will have high school programs open um, with a high school touch. And that's fine. Um, Summer engineering seminar, like a Santa Clara university has been around for many years. Just to show you how legit it is. It's free. Um, That doesn't mean it's guaranteed for you to get in there, but you do have Summer Institute. And for those of you, but I'm not an engineering major, they also have Young Scholar programs where you could um, enroll in different classes. And and they also have one of different type of like humanitarian, like they have this thing called the Innovation Hub um, and it's funded by Google. So there, this program, when I first saw it in the 90s, was just the engineering program and now it's gone, grown to like five different ones. Okay, so Mia, based on what you're seeing, what do you think? I mean, it sounds awesome. Like it being free is not only like a plus, but like it means they truly want to help you get better. They're not in it for the money, obviously, because it's free. And if you are interested in doing one of these programs, remember when you're searching, if you're not from that area, check if they have a residential program. Because like if you're trying to find housing near Santa Clara, Silicon Valley, it's no joke. No, All right. no, no, no. Right. I think me and I can relate to that far too well. OK, now let's look for those writers out there. So there is another program. It's not free. I mean, as we talked about, you could blog, you could write, you can even publish some work. And we'll talk about a free program in a minute. But UC Berkeley has a great Bay Area writing program. I'll be honest, these teachers, I don't know what they're taking, but they are just so innovative. They engage. These are not people who are just trying to get summer money to do a job. They love what they do. Why am I talking about it so passionately? Because my own kids have done it as well. Also, if you're struggling for writing your college essays, they do a specific one, even for um, students. And, and if there's a young writer out there, they even have one for rising third through ninth graders as well, too. Um, So they do take a big chunk of your summer. So it's a four week. So a lot of times, I mean, I'll be honest with you, people create a plan of what you want to do each summer. At least like, do I want to stay home? Do I want to go far away? How many programs? You have to talk to your family because what if you guys are going on vacation? These are, I mean, you know, this not everything's on Zoom anymore now. A lot of it's in person. So what about for your writing friends out there, Mia? What do you think about this one? It sounds awesome. Sometimes like I know friends who I've had, right? It's hard to find like prompts that you're really interested in to, in and like trying to find collaboration or like uh, edit writers or something is super hard to find. So a program like this would be like perfect. I think you have people who want to share their writing with you and vice versa. They want to read your writing, get ideas. It just sounds like a great space, honestly. No, I mean, like one of the images we're looking at says like writing to rebel camp reading, right? It's like, whoa, <laughs> rebel. Yes fight the system. Uh, my my son, when he did the program, they all had everyone read their their writing samples at a coffee shop. So it was open to the public. I mean, he was fairly young as a high school student. Oh my God, Mia, the story he wrote, I thought it was so terrifying what was happening to this kid's experience. It was just, it was not, it was fictional writing. I thought the teacher was going to recall CPS, <laughs> to be honest, Child Protective Services on me. Luckily, they did it. Luckily, they didn't. Though my son probably wanted to a couple of times. But anyway, that's where he's getting sidetracked. And then if you want to help inspire other people to write um, or you just want to give that back, uh, 826 Valencia is a street in San Francisco and a center and a national 
program. Um, their target is to um, promote more youth of color, BIPOC, um, and they want to have a diverse group of students to work, but they're really open to all tutors. You could just imagine during the pandemic, there's also internships. And if you are an aspiring writer, you get published work and help younger people get published work. Um, two of my sons who participated in this as a young age had their work published, so they're actually published. So this is 826 Valencia, and, 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 I don't know about Nationwide, but if you do the one in the city, listen up people who like money. They also have an association program where called Scholar Match, where you can win a four-year scholarship for college, Ooh. too. Oh, now Mia's interested. So what are your <laughs> thoughts, Mia? I mean, that sounds awesome. I tutor, like, kids, and it's always so fun seeing them grow. So if you ever have any interest in it, I would say do it because it is a great experience to like tutor kids. But that sounds awesome. Like, honestly. Yeah. And I think the main thing is, you know how Mia said, well, it's up to you to get yourself into college. Again, amen to that. And here's the reason why I've had students do a 26 Valencia and they were not able to deliver it in the sense on their statements for the colleges of why this is important, the significance and whether they didn't realize that scared, timid little kid that just opened them eyes open like, hey, I could be an author, too, even though I don't read authors that look like me. That's something that's important. So no matter whether you're a writer or not, start doing journal writing and look for ways for you not to write an essay, but your statement um, about what you're all about and what you do. So keep that in mind. All right. Now there are some athletes out there and not everyone's going to get recruited there. If, in UCLA, Anderson School of Management, one of the hardest programs to get into just for college has a summer discovery program and it's not hosted at UCLA, not affiliate. It's UCLA has designed it. So these are all called pre-college programs. So you, they have a residential life. You get to pick business and entertainment and media or sports, digital marketing and social media, which I thought I, that was a career I was going to go into me, I believe it or not. And then uh, sports business. So if that's something that you're really interested in, I'm like, listen, if you want to learn how to take advantage a Pac-12 athletic facilities. What does that mean? UCLA is Division One. Yes, they have created the most Olympians than any other college or university in the United States. And uh, let's not forget, you're close to Disneyland, Manhattan Beach, and nice, very warm weather. So this program is taking application. And some of these programs, because it's residential, ain't cheap. Um, you could check for each program of scholarship, but you'll never get a full ride for these. I'm going to be honest, people. And that's not even about how to get there. Uh, Mia, what's the price tag on this? <laughs> Uh, three thousand four hundred to like eight thousand dollars. That's right, people. So and but Mia, I have a question for you. If a student yeah. did this, mm -hmm. right? So let's say they go to summer discovery, or they decided to like create a social media campaign for a local. B team, right? You know, if you're on the team A, you know, you're like the varsity level of a middle school, you know, a basketball team. You go B, social media, created a parade, you know, for the neighborhood, um, fundraised like different jerseys. What would be more impressive to you? Oh, to me, that Instagram account, that social media account that you created is, is 10 times more impressive. Yeah, so just, exactly. I mean, nothing to go against the people who take this $8,000 UCLA social media program. Everyone got to pay their bills. But don't forget, and you do. does that person have to do it by themselves? Oh, no. Oh, heck no. Collaboration. No, I mean, you have other people. Do, I remember I've had some students like, no, I'm the co-founder. No, I'm the co-founder. I'm like, oh, my God, get off your high horse. It's all about what you do and collaborate with. Um, now, one thing is, if you want to do this internship or program, and I want every graduating eighth grader, rising ninth grader to listen and beyond, um, you could also do something free. In 116 community colleges, we have a podcast earlier on about community colleges. Um, but did you know, Mia? Well, OK, I already know Mia knows this. But tell me your first reaction when I told Mia this that you could take a community college class 
for free. And it'll even, and some of them will look even higher than an AP course. I think my reaction was like, what? I can? <laughs> something along those lines. Definitely. It's yeah. Right. And so, and, and, and granted, I've had some students who go, you want me to take a class over the summer and then I have to go back to school and take more classes and feel like, and I, I, like I get it. I get it. So take something you love um, because you're showing colleges that what you like to do, because it also may save your butt. Like if you can't get into a class or it may say you get on academic probation, this may help keep you on track to graduating on time in college. Um, these are all based on true stories, but there's archaeology, art majors, whether you appreciate it or want to do it. Um, there's also, okay, I am anti-students taking bio or chem. Why do you think I'm anti-students taking bio or chem or English, their first college course? Why do you think so, Mia? Their first, I mean, you kind of already do most of the stuff in regular school. Is that why? Or like... Well, the reason why it's not because it's college level, like it's hardcore oh, right, right, right. courses, so, right? And also they're really popular, right? There, There's a lot yeah. of students who are pre-med majors or trying to transfer into a college. But I think everyone should be taking public speaking, right? Like if you're going to go to work one day, most people have to talk, right? Or mm -hmm. interpersonal communications. So what you can let you guys know, uh, even before COVID, you could take asynchronous Trust me, people, I didn't know what that was before. Asynchronous was basically, you basically learn the material on your own time, right? A lot of teachers are recording classes and you just have to do the tests and the assignments by the deadlines. Um, you, sh you also can find out who are the professors and check them out on ratemyprofessor.com. This is for all um, U.S. professors. You would take, if you love kids, there's child development. You're interested in business, it's real estate. Um, look, I am scrolling right now. Ever since I started talking about this, I'm I'm at looking at three community college. I'm still in E, people. I'm still in E, right? La Raza Studies, film, geography, geology. Now, Mia, you said wow, but are you ready for true confessions? Yeah. Okay. All right. So why why haven't you taken a community college course then yet? Why haven't I taken a that is a that's a great question. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year, I did summer school, and the year before that, I did summer school so that I can get into a higher level class this year. But my friend did it, and she said she had a really, really great time, but now she's taking physics <laughs> over the school year, so. It's it's about that balance, right? Um, I mean, right, like, it's 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 easy for, for us on this show on a mic to tell all you guys, oh, do this and then do that and do this and do that. So when I say kind of plan out your four year summers, right? Really, it's less than that, right? After freshman year, after sophomore, junior year, you know, for this is about college, right? Like, but it's also about finding your career, finding your balance, and then looking back and saying, I did my best with the least regret. So do you know, like, as I'm scrolling down, looking at dance, hip hop, um, oceanography, philosophy, in case there is a student out there listening, because, you know, who doesn't want to listen to Mia? Am I mm -hmm. right, Mia? Yep. Uh, ask yourself by the end of your junior year, are you going? what would you wish that you took advantage of? And then take advantage of it and then figure it out with others. Mm -hmm. Does that sound OK, Mia? Or do you, what other recommendations do you re uh, suggest for folks looking I mean at just all these things? Oh, things do something that you are interested in. Like there are been college has some like great specific or outlandish classes that you will never take in high school. So why not just take them over the summer? I mean, there's no harm other than work. There's no harm, really. No, there isn't. But but unless you don't do well. So <laughs> make sure you know. <laughs> the do well. So yes. so when you do these research, do know um, there are free, but you do have to get a con uh, it's called concurrent enrollment. So just Google that and then check out the classes. Make sure there's no prerequisites. Check out Rate My Professor. They'll tell you who's the hard grader, who's the nice teacher. I mean, not nice, but who's a great professor on there. And then if it does become too hard, then make sure you drop it before the deadline. So be familiar with deadlines. And then Mia, didn't you want to talk a little bit about deadlines before we end the show? Oh, yes. Deadlines. Um, keep a schedule of all your deadlines or just be aware of them because I already missed one. So 
<laughs> it's really it's really important thing to do sometimes you think you have so much time but you really don't and I would say really be aware of that I mean I <laughs> I tried to find an internship and then I didn't figure out till after like I found it, it was like oh I'm gonna apply to this one that applications were already due so <laughs> you just gotta be aware and just my keep a calendar that's what I did after I had that incident and just write everything down check your calendar use it the school calendar so you know I had assignment due on that same day. 